Hey guys, it's Everjul Sky, and I wanted to show you a uh, cool website called Code Academy, where you learn how to code. Um, here's the website. It's got web development programming. It even shows you some salaries. Um, I've completed the HTML, CSS, make a website, deploy a website, and um, it's a really awesome layout of how you learn. Okay, so they've got so much information. I'm still working on the Learn Python intro to JavaScript, but I wanted to show you um, what I've been working on. You know, the uh, JavaScript, Python, CSS. I haven't started yet on the Ruby or SAS or Angular, but this is what the layout looks like. This is just um, one of the JavaScript um, lessons I'm working on. This is just objects and this will just teach you, kind of reminds you of an array, but um, it has information on the left hand side of the screen, instructions, you know, and this is, I'm like over halfway through the intro JavaScript, so it's not, it's not very introductory, <laughs> um, but this is basically what you would do. So you have the lesson on one side, in the middle you have the console where you um, put your code and um, once you complete your code, <clears throat> you hit run and if your code is correct and it compiles, you'll see it um, compile on the right side of the screen in the um, console there. And let's see, I just uh, this is a very basic object creation. You um, just create a key and hit run. Let's see what happens. All right, looks like it went great. All right, there's a second section, um, and and each language is like this. Um, whenever you do the HTML uh, and CSS, you actually get a little mini website on the right side where you it deploys um, your information, and we'll actually get to see that here in just a second. So I wasn't in this section, I wasn't really <laughs> reading <laughs> the information. Um, so I didn't get that wrong, but it looks like it gives you a little bit of a hint. And um, after I read that, I realized that I actually had the, uh, the wording correctly. So um, I changed that over and then it, uh, it ran. So, um, oh, hold on. Got something. Oh yeah, so I have to look back whenever you do um, numbers, you actually on this particular object, you don't need the quotations. So that should be good to go. But yeah, I've been doing Academy for a while and uh, um, I, I really love it. It's very, very well thought out and I love that you learn so much. I'm going to show you my, my profile a little bit. It keeps up with everything that, um, that you've gone through, your skills, the badges, you know, your streaks, um, your daily streaks. And let's see here. These are all the badges that I've completed. Uh, once you complete each lesson, you complete the badge and you get a little pop-up. Um, don't forget to follow Code Academy on Twitter. They stay pretty active on Twitter. They're, they're really, um, they love to interact with their, their end users. So um, I just want to show you real quick what the uh, CSS uh, looks like at the very end and kind of what um, that layout shows you. So you'll see how you have the, uh, the website on the right side and um, the HTML is in the center, and you have your tab for your style.css sheet in the top as well. So this is the code for this is what, for those of you who aren't familiar with web development, this is what a website looks like on the inside. <laughs> These are its, its skeletons. So I was trying to change the title, um, which it did not work. <laughs> Sometimes it doesn't it doesn't work, so you just have to keep trying. Um, so I, I decided to change something that I knew would work because the title is actually what goes at the very top of your tab, not in 
the actual um, header heading of the website. Um, so I went ahead and I wanted to show you what it would look like. So when you're updating a website and you make a change, let's see here, yeah. So anyway, so um, a little quick update. I've been going to school for my um, MBA, my Master's of Business Administration, and I've got a test this Saturday for my fourth class. So I've been able to test out of four classes already. Uh, not test out, but uh, you know, you're able to accelerate. So once you complete a class, you can go ahead and uh, go to the next class, which is great. I'm trying to really finish in uh, 12 months instead of 24 months, because I really want to get done and get, you know, moving on up, you know what I mean, and uh, so yeah, so everybody check out Code Academy, uh, like, subscribe, have a Sky, and uh, yeah, codecademy.com, you guys have a good one.